What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another tire fit video for the K5 Blazer. I've had so many people asking how the Smasher tires fit on it or just how monster truck tires in general fit. So I thought <clears throat> let's just throw together a quick little video so you can kind of see it. You can see it uh, moving and all of that fun stuff. Um, these don't really turn because I did add the portal weights down here to give this thing some weight so um they don't work well with these wheels you can see they rub on the inside so um that's not going to be an option but if you're going to run this like a monster truck you're probably not going to add that weight but you can see the smasher tires look really good on there you're going to get some rubbing but not terrible really uh if you wanted to use these for like mudding or something like that that may be pretty cool um we also got these we're going to throw on there to see how these look i think those obviously would be really good for some mud runs but um the mofos on this side you can see they're pretty huge um you know i never really thought much about putting these tires on this thing because i had zero plans of running this as a monster truck just because there's a lot of trim on this and like these mirrors are not going to last if i'm sending this thing like a monster truck it's just not going to happen bumpers going to be broke it's going to be demolished so um you know, but I could see pulling this cab off the back, using the pickup body and having a pretty sweet looking monster truck. In my opinion, these smasher tires are definitely gonna be the way to go. As you can see, these are just pretty massive, but it does look pretty sick that way too. Uh, especially if you had this kind of jacked up a little more. But um, let's throw these in drawers on there as well, just so you can see those. And then we'll toss the mud tires on it. And then I have a little bit of running I'm going to put towards the end here just to uh, give you guys kind of a sneak peek at an outdoor course that I just kind of started messing with yesterday. Had uh, about an hour or so to mess around. And I got started on a little outdoor course. Very happy with some of the lines that I was able to run this morning on it. Just testing out with the K5 here. Um, I want to have some really difficult lines maybe some really difficult like cross lines I can do with more capable rigs. But then I wanna have a really good test spot for stock trucks and scale trucks and all of that. So I'm pretty happy with how it went so far. I just had a couple bags of quick creed around, decided to throw those, mix in some real rock and stuff. And uh, I think it's gonna look really cool once I kind of stain my concrete and stuff and get a lot more work into it. But I've got plenty of room around here and uh, so I'm gonna make a really good outdoor test course for you guys, hopefully, to be able to just show you how these things run on a little bit of everything outdoors. But um, you can see there, there's the Enjoras. They sit very similar to the Mofos. And uh, the white looks so good on here. Like I'm gonna have to put some white wheels on this, I think. Just love the white <laughs> with all of the white on the body. Looks really good, but uh, that's your monster truck tires. Now let's toss on some of these mud tires. Those actually look really cool. Uh, and you can put these on really any 1.0 wheel you wanted. Uh, these came from like AliExpress or something. I don't know. Uh, I'll try to link them in the description. They may even be available on Amazon stuff now. Uh, I kind of ordered these way back when I first seen them and I've never even used them, but <laughs> they do look pretty cool. Um, so that's a that's an option for sure if you're wanting to do like some mud or nasty dirt ripping like that's pretty cool you could even take this cab off like i said turn this into kind of like a truck and really rip on some nasty dirt muddy trails so that's pretty sweet looking these are actually just some pro line wheels that i took some other pro line tires off of because these don't come with wheels so i just mounted them on here because i knew I was gonna keep whatever build I put these on really lightweight for mud and stuff. So um, they look pretty good with that. One thing on the K5 really quick, I know I keep mentioning this, but I just trying to save people money. The codes for these discount codes are not gonna work. They extended it to the 20th. So if you're looking to get one, you may wanna do it before April 20th of 2023. And then news from uh, FMS from now on, on any new release like this, discount codes are not going to work for the first year of the release so i'm not trying to just harp on you guys buy 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 this 
it doesn't matter to me if you buy or not. Like, I'm not trying to force anything on anybody. I just like to save people money. So if you're planning to get one, if you can order it up before the 20th, I'll put a link in the description. Use the discount code 2FMRC. You will save 10 bucks on this. And I mean, every little bit counts. So you can get these for $135.99 shipped right now with the free gift and everything that comes with them. So um, definitely check that out in the next day or so. Um, the other cool thing about this, I wanted to show you guys because I haven't really mentioned it, but I just kind of assume people knew, but I should never do that. But all of your bodies will just switch over to this. So this is exact same chassis and everything. So you can just, boom, throw the power wagon body on it, or you can, or you can throw just like your regular smasher body on it. Dang, that looks pretty cool. Might have to be my mud truck. <laughs> but yeah, so that will clip on there as well. Same difference. So these bodies are also available from Fair RC. I'll try to link that in the description. So, you know, if you can't afford the truck, you can always pick up the body later. Um, you can get the body, all the trimmings, windows, mirrors, bumpers, grill, everything, I think for around 65 bucks or something. But for me, when I can get the whole truck at 135, like I'm just the type of person, I'm just gonna buy the whole truck. So that's why I'm just kind of letting you guys know about that. Anyways, this is kind of how the wheels and tires fit on the K5. I'll leave you with a little running. Hope you like the outdoor course, what started of it. Um, and you guys let me know if you need anything. Peace.